Is this very hot chili? Yes. Yeah, it's very hot. Okay. You, you recommend I eat straight away like this? Or no? Oh, it's okay. It's okay? It's okay. okay. No, it's okay. Don't do it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> It's hot. Hello and welcome to today's video. It's another night vlog here in Cebu City. Um, and unfortunately, today's video is gonna be pretty much a walking video around Puente Osmania. Um, and the reason why is because I don't have anything pretty much planned. Uh, I spent so much time editing the previous video, uh, which was on the SMC side. I put a lot of effort into the editing, into the cinematography, getting it all nice and crisp, making sure the videos match perfectly the words I'm saying. I was editing that last night and this morning. So when I uploaded that video, I pretty much went to sleep, got a nice few hours in. Now I feel rejuvenated, but I've got to get something to eat. Today is a Saturday and um, in Fuente Osmania, there seems to be quite a lot of bars around here. So um, we might check that out later once I'm done stuffing my face with a Jolly Bee. Yeah, Jolly, Jolly, Jolly Bee. I've never actually featured Jolly Bee on the channel and I have it here in the Philippines so many times and it seems to be a thing that every YouTuber does when they come to the Philippines. Like, I swear, after like three or four videos, every YouTuber that comes here is like, oh, trying out Philippines Jolly Bee. Oh, trying out the best the best fast food from the Philippines. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is bloody good, but I mean, everybody does it. Anyway, I'm gonna be having Jolly Bee at Robinson's. No, I'm not. Oopsie, no, I'm not. It's close. Uh uh. Uh 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 uh. All right, let me quickly look where there's another Jolly Bee, because uh, I can see one from my hotel window, which looks like a drive through a 24 hour one, but um, I can't seem to locate it. So give me a second. As you may know, the strains of a daily vlogger can be quite tough and um, constantly having something lined up and actually having the time to go shoot it can be very strenuous. Uh, I'm literally up to date with my vlog. I'm not like some other YouTubers that have like shot plenty of videos in advance and then uh, have probably left. No, I'm, every vlog in which you see is literally 12 to 24 hours old. So uh, you're seeing the most up-to-date content here on the channel. And um, I'm not gonna bang on about how many hours I spend editing these videos, because you guys know how much effort I put into them. I'm standing right outside a bar right now called uh, Barcode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a hilarious name, Barcode. Looks pretty lively. One does need to be careful of uh, copyright stuff though. Oh, there's a pool table in there, a live band. Oh, uh, I remember mobile. I think my friend Jess was uh, singing that for us. Let me ask these folks. Hello, sir. Do you know where Jolly Bee is? Jolly Bee is near there. Oh, it's closed, is it? Uh, yes. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Is there any 24 hour ones? 24 hours yeah. Right in the Jones Avenue. Is it far? Uh, one kilometer, right? Yeah, one kilometer. Yeah, okay. All right. Thank you very much, sir. We well, usually, where I order. Jollibee. Sometimes it can be at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. at night. And um, the 24 hour one is in Cebu Jones, which is about a kilometer away. I always get it from Grab. But uh, this is the one that I see from my hotel room. This Jollibee here. There's like a really tall stand with the advertising of Jollibee on it, but it seems like it's closed. Nah. I mean, what kind of vlog would it be uh, if I just ordered Jollibee straight to my room? Wouldn't be much of a vlog, would it? What do I even title this video? The hunt for Jollibee in Cebu. I'm just walking down the street like a maniac, laughing to myself of the video title. I don't know why I find it so funny. The hunt for Jollibee. And people look at me like, what the hell is wrong with this foreigner? Must be intoxicated. I'm not sure if I've actually given a proper breakdown of what is on Fuente Osmania. Usually I kind of start my videos from here and go pretty much everywhere. But Fuente Osmania, you can literally get to any part of Cebu uh, from this very circle. It's like the city center. Um, you can get a bus from here to the IT park. You can get a bus from here all the way to um, Cebu Business Park. Uh, you can go to SMC side. You can go to pretty much everywhere. And on this circle are plenty of fast food chains. Uh, there's a world currency exchange. We've got a Chow King in front of us. There's a McDonald's. There's our orange 
Brutus, 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 I don't know, a rose pharmacy. And um, earlier, oh, there's a KFC. I don't know it was KFC. Um, you know what though, KFC here in the Philippines is kind of a bit redundant because pretty much every fast food chain, including McDonald's, offers deep fried chicken. So KFC in the Philippines has kind of lost its niche. Yeah. In abroad, abroad in the West, etc., McDonald's Burger King doesn't offer deep fried chicken. They only offer um, burgers, essentially. And so, you know, KFC did have that unique selling point. But in the Philippines, nah, -uh, I reckon they're probably struggling on business. Yes, earlier we passed the Robinson Mall. That's where I wanted to go eat Jollibee at, but that's closed. Um, what else is there? Plenty of taxis around here, plenty of jeepneys. There's the main bus stop, which is across the roundabout or the circle over there. That's where we got the SMC side bus. Ah, oh, look, 17C. Ayala, this goes all the way to Guadalupe Ayala. People, this is not an e-jipney. And second of all, it's not electric either. It's actually powered by a petrol engine. Look, it's got an exhaust. And most of them I've been on are not electrified. They're like Euro 4 uh, emission categorized. Anyway, what do I do? Do I go with McDonald's? I don't really want to go with McDonald's. But to be fair, the, uh, the spaghetti bolognese from McDonald's and from uh, Jollibee pretty much taste the same. But I do slightly have a bias for Jollibee. But the one thing, the one thing that I think Jollibee needs to kind of up their game on is their medium-sized drinks. A medium-sized drink from Jollibee is the equivalent of a McDonald's small drink. Yes. But the burgers from Jollibee, I've, I've done like a comparison check. I've checked online how the, the whip, the girth of the burger from Jollibee versus McDonald's. And I think you actually get more uh, meat content and patty contents from Jollibee. So that's where kind of like the cost compromise lies between the two. Jollibee, you get bigger burgers and more meat. McDonald's, you get more Coke or more drink. You know, this is turning into a 20 minute vlog. I can't believe I'm banging out a video uh, talking about Jollibee and McDonald's and all the fast food chains. It just goes to show uh, how often I order this. Hello, how are you? Hello. Uh, <laughs> um, I've actually lost my way to Sebu Jones. Um, Damn it. Damn it, what do I do? Do I stay locally? Do I just go on McDonald's? Vlogging, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Yo, what up? How's it going? <laughs> Two vlogs at 10 p.m. at night. Actually, local time is probably later than that. It's like 10.30, 11. But I'm making vlogs, guys. Doesn't give a crap. Don't be all alarmed by the uh, flashing lights there. That's just police patrol cars. I don't want people in the comments going, oh look, it's so dangerous because it's a police patrol car. No, they're just uh, doing night shifts. There's a few food stalls here actually, but I see a few people in. Hello, how are you? What are you eating? Somai. Somai. Oh, shomai, shomai. Ah, okay. And rice. And rice, yeah. I just want to look. I've tried shomai before. How much is a shomai? Three, four, ten pesos. Oh wow, three, four, ten pesos. That's pretty good, man. Okay, salama, thank you. Is it all shomai? Yes, it's all shomai, right? Same. <laughs> okay. I was actually gonna try and see if there's uh, anything else other than shomai. Uh, this, is this shomai? No. Probin. What's this stuff? Probin. Probin? Yeah. I've never tried probin. Is it like. Probin. Is it like pork skin? Deep fried pork skin, yeah? Or. Uh, okay, I've tried it, yeah. <laughs> it's like. It's like the intestine of a chicken. Oh, the skin of the chicken. Yeah, yeah. Oh, intestine of the chicken. Oh, okay. Something like that. Something like that, okay. I thought it was the skin of the pork, but no. All right. How much is one? I don't know. Oh. Hello. <laughs> 20. Okay. I'll buy one. I've got exactly, well, I've got 22 pesos because I was anticipating I would go somewhere with a jeepney. And uh, the minimum fare, I think, for a Jibney is 11 pesos. Bus is 13. Oh, you just ate here? Yeah. Oh, nice. Great. Very good. So I don't know if I've ordered. Sir, can I order one? Can I order one, yeah? Ah, okay. You see, the thing is, I don't know if this is ready to eat or if it needs to go back in there. Oh, he's going to do it fresh. Oh, wow, 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 wow. 
So this food store is a portable food store. As you can see, it's kind of like a tricycle. There's one wheel on this side and uh, attached to this side is a bike. Purely human powered. This guy will whiz around, maybe whiz around town. I think this is his permanent base at night. I'm not sure. Yeah, serve up customers under this very bright rainbow colored brolly. To be honest though, I think this guy has got a bit of a competitive advantage because he's not selling Xiao Mai like all the other food stalls are. He's the only one selling this crispy chicken. We're about to see if this uh, deep fried crispy chicken is a uh, Lami Kayo. It's never a dull day here on Mergen Vlogs. We're always trying out new things. I'd say this part of Cebu City never sleeps. Uh, especially here at Fuente Osmania, there's always somebody around. Um, I don't know if that McDonald's in the corner is 24 hours. I think it is because I ordered from there yesterday, I believe, at like 3 a.m. So it's nice. And in the middle of Fuente Osmania, you've got quite a lot of lights lighting up the central fountain. And there's plenty of people around. So um, I feel very safe around here, walking around, uh, buying food, talking to people. Absolutely no problem. Oh, they've just come out. Here we go. They're gonna be boiling hot. Gotta be careful. Spicy. Spicy sauce. Oh right. And I'm just gonna pick one from here. Do you have like a toothpick or you just eat with your hands? No, you just use plastic. Oh plastic. Okay, thank you. Aha. That's okay, thank you. Alright, salama. Thank you very much. Oh, I need to put some sauce on it. <laughs> Does it come with rice, sir, or no? Does it come with rice, or no? No, okay, yeah, yeah. It's okay, I don't want the rice. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay. Gonna, thank you very much. I'm just gonna put, pop this glove on. Oh, it's just back, okay. Okay, Jose. Let's go to, let's go to an area where it's a little bit more lit up. Uh, so we can try this crispy deep fried chicken. I'm glad it's chicken because um, I'm, I'm a bit like health conscious when it comes to like eating pork. Oh, speaking of eating pork, I had no idea when I was at the um, supermercado at the IT park that that was pork brew. Oh man, I thought, I thought those small doggies were coming for my uh, deep fried crispy chicken. Aha, let's do it here. Right outside the other side of Robinson's Mall, the cyber gate. This Robinson's Mall is also closed, but uh, never mind. Everything's closed in this area. Oh my God, that's what I mean, mate. That's what I mean, Kayo. Especially with the, um, the ketchup and the spicy sauce in which I drizzled over this. No! Three second rule, three second rule. This came out fresh as well. Mm. I think the guy said this was called promen. Man, do you know what this is called? Promen. Chicken proven. Proven? Yes. Okay, okay, thank you so much. Are you going to Yeah, yeah. What you, channel? You want to know my channel? You can say hi. <laughs> okay, with a V, yeah, problem. Yeah. Okay, all right. Salama, thank you so much for telling me that. Aha, uh -huh. there we are. Chicken proven. Oh, I was not expecting this proven to be this good from a stall on Puente Osmania Circle. I mean, this is more of a snack. I don't think you can get full on this, and I don't think it's a wise option to get full on this because uh, it is deep fried. But if you're going to SMC side or you're coming to Fuente Osmania and you want to grab a quick bite for something, something that's very, very cheap, this would be it. Or if you're into shell mai, um, you can get it from there. But uh, I've eaten enough shell mai since being here in the Philippines, so I'm glad I'm trying. I've tried this out. What would I rate this? I'd rate this really highly. Um, as far as deep fried chicken goes, oh man, it's like a nine. It's like a nine, man. Eight or a nine. I can't really say 10 because I've not tried anything else. I don't have anything to compare it to. 
Um, but if I had like a problem from like maybe a really high end restaurant or somewhere else, maybe I could compare the two. But I don't think you can get like high end problem because it seems to me as though um, problem. <laughs> Right, so I finished up with my Proven. I've thrown it in the bin over there. I actually ended up running out of a memory on my memory card, but I was commenting about how I think Proven is probably only a street food. There's a lot more food stores in this direction too. So where Osmania Peak was, actually right behind the bus station, right next to the bus station, situated in front of this construction site, are plenty, plenty more food stores. Hello, how are you? Hello again. <laughs> Thank you. Oh wow, you can get noodles from here. Look at this, you can get <clears throat> paris, mummy, garlic rice, maris. Proven is actually spelled proven. Um, and you'd pronounce it as proven in English, but I'm actually curious to try this stall out. But um, I want to see where the locals are hanging because they know the best places. Oh, this is Proven too. Proven, yeah. Proven? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and this is straight up chicken and some spring rolls. Wow. Oh, yeah. How much is the chicken, sir? 40 pesos. 30. Oh. Damn. Good, yeah? Yeah. Lami kayo, yeah? Lami kayo. Okay. <laughs> Seems as though the locals are eating it with some rice. They've uh, made this sort of sauce that's a combination of garlic, chilies, maybe some soy. What, what sauce is this, sir? Soka. 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 Oh, vinegar. Oh, okay, okay. oh, right. And chili sauce, wow. You know, I'm going to order one. Is that pork belly? No, uh, pork belly. Yeah, uh, okay. pork belly. If I want to order, I just say I want some chicken and. And chicken. Or, or do you pick what chicken you want? Or, or, yeah, you pick the chicken. Oh, okay. You, you have drumstick? You have like chicken leg? Dine in, dine in. Okay, okay. How many? Uh, just one. Drumstick? Oh, yeah, that's okay. Wow. Oh, right. Thank you. Gloves. Oh, they have proper gloves here. Wow. Please show me, sir. Can you do the, me the honors? All right. Maybe, maybe I'll do it and you just show me. Okay, so two tablespoons of uh, onions, red onions. Okay, some. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, rice in here. Okay. It's okay. I don't want to eat rice. It's, it's okay. I don't want to eat rice. Just chicken. Just chicken. Um. Chilies. Okay. Uh, chili with this or with this? I oh, just pick it with your hands. Okay. Cool. All right. Do you not put this inside here? Yeah, but Okay. Okay, cool. And then, wee wee wee. <laughs> okay. All oh, right, look at this. Jolly Bee doesn't have this type of sauce. <laughs> oh. Wow, that's good, man.
I've never had deep fried chicken uh, with vinegar, chilies, and onions. But I can honestly say, la mi kayo. Very good. Look at this, I'm devouring for your chicken. Mmm. Why is these chickens 30 pesos? Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to try the spring roll as well. It's delicious. It's delicious, yeah. Let me try it. Yeah. You crush the chili. I'm scared. How do I crush the chilies? Oh, really? You just do it with your hands, okay? Ah! Okay. So I haven't got the full chili taste just yet. Mergim's learning from the Pinoy brothers. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot harder than it looks. Maybe because that chili isn't ripe, I don't know. I think you're probably supposed to do this with dry hands, do it in your hand, and then like sprinkle it inside. Is this very hot chili? Yes. Yeah, it's very hot. Okay. You, you recommend I eat straight away like this? Or no? It's okay? Okay. Don't do it. It's okay. It's okay. I'll cry. No, you're lying. There we go. Good job. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, I think I need a drink now. I need one Pepsi. <laughs> Thank you. I'll just pop it here. I don't want to drink the Pepsi because it'll make it worse. Right? Spice is getting hot, man. Woo. Wow. Okay. I ordered myself a Pepsi. I'm probably not going to be able to speak anytime soon. But I don't want to drink Pepsi because it'll make it worse. I need a bucket of ice to shove my face in. <laughs> and they say Filipinos don't like spicy food. They like spicy food, man. All right, I'm going to drink Pepsi now. Short-term relief with every gulp that I uh, get down me. A friendly reminder if you want to know where this place is. It's opposite the, it's behind the bus station in front of this construction site next to the Robin Mall. Robinson Mall, I can't even speak. Okay, I finished my Pepsi and my mouth is still burning. There's actually a hospital just over there. Okay, I think I've recovered. I'm gonna try and go with a spring roll. Can I get one spring roll, yeah? Yeah. Oh, just pick it up like that, yeah? Wow. Look at that. Bam, bam, bam. Taugi. Taugi. No. Mango. Mango shrimps. We call this um, spring roll. Oh, yeah, love me. This is mango. Mango. Inside this one. Oh, wow. This one grown to this one, yeah? Ah, yeah, yeah. oh, okay. Mango beans. Wow. I would have never guessed. Mango here. Thank you. Salamat. Can I, can I go another chicken, yeah? Yeah, oh, nice. Woohoo! It's hot as well, you know? Damn, I've got to wait for it to cool down. It's very hot. I find it almost impossible to stand underneath these uh, brollies because um, they are pretty low down. Yeah, my head kind of like scrapes uh, underneath the canvas. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six seven people including me eight a potential new customer that's seen at this stall and this man has very kindly shown me uh, how to mix this vinegar chili onion sauce for my chicken what's your name sir i don't even know what your name is benji samelia benji samelia yeah. wow nice to meet you sir you just subscribed to the channel yeah new subscriber Woo! and second chicken going down i can't hold it Wow. Yeah. So can I get another Pepsi? The first Pepsi I had to like wash it down. I had I ate a chili by itself. Yeah. It's good. Have you tried the chili by itself? Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. You're used to it? I'm used to it. Wow, I'm not. 
I almost died. You'll get used to I it. I think I was about to pass out earlier, but thankfully there's a hospital oh, next okay. door. <laughs> is that a hospital, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But chili is good. It is good, right? It's got a lot of kick. You'll eat more. I think I'll be back here, yeah. A lot more times. Who needs McDonald's when you have this? Yeah. What are they called? Oh, no, there's no name, right? Uh, yeah, there's no name. No name, just recognized by face, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, have a good Hi. evening. Bye bye. Take care. Okay, sir, take care. Are you gonna are you gonna drive or are you gonna go no, back? Go. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Alright bro. Take care. Take care. See you. Thank you very much for showing me around. I think from now on I'm gonna start eating my deep fried chicken with uh, this sauce here, vinegar, onions and chili. Alright, so I've had two drumsticks, two Pepsis and one chili. One raw chili. Which almost killed me. But I'm okay now. One hundred? One hundred? Yes. Oh really? <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, one uh, spring roll. Hello, how are you? Hey, how about you? I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm Yeah, yeah, vlog. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to my life. It's a frog. Huh? I already ate. I already ate, but you work around here? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, Point uh, Menu? Yeah. Uh, John's Cup. Oh, okay. How about you? Where did you stay here? Uh, in Point Menu. Wow. Yeah, yeah, very close. So, I went to eat some Jollibee but closed and I'm like, oh, Jollibee here, isn't it? <laughs> Better than Jollibee. <laughs> Enjoy your food, guys. It's nice to meet you, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Alright, take care. Thank you very much, sir. I'll see you again tomorrow for the pre pesos. Alright, thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Oh, let me finish this Pepsi. Here we go. Babush. Babush. Okay, see you man, take care, bye bye, see you. So that's the store in which I just ate from. I would have loved to stay with those guys and uh, got to know them a little bit better, but um, unfortunately I don't have enough money to carry on eating. And so I've had to say bye and I've come underneath the Robinson Mall shelter because uh, it's pouring down with rain now. Oh yeah. Okay folks, I'm going to be wrapping up today's video here. Um, if you enjoyed this pretty simple yet very authentic video, trying out street food here in Fuente Osmania, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video and share this video with friends and family and I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching guys, take care, bye for now.